Hey everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to another great PrestaShop tutorial. So in today's video, we will learn how to create a handy script that generates cart rows with promotional codes in bulk. So instead of having to make them up one by one, which can be a really cumbersome process, especially if you need a hundred of them. So let's get to it. First off, I will create a new file in my editor and I will save it in the PrestaShop root, calling it create discount.php. Okay, so open PHP tags. And now, as with every external script we want to embed into PrestaShop, we must include the config and init files. So let's do it. Include their name underscore underscore file dot slash config dot ink dot php oops and I'll copy this and I will change it to ah sorry it's config the folder is config and the other is init dot php great say now we need something to play with namely an array and we'll create one holding all of the promo codes first and then we will loop through it and generate one new cart row for each. So I have some codes already, but of course you can make your own. I'll just copy and paste my array. Good. Now let's loop through them. So for each codes as code. And before creating any new cart rule, we have to make sure there is no other um, rule using the same code. So PrestaShop has a, a nice little function for it. Let's use it. It's if cart rule cart rule exists, and we'll pass in the code. So if we have one with the same code. We will echo out something like code space dash code dot another string already exists. Skipping. And then we'll just use a line break and continue. Okay? Now for the real thing, let's instantiate a new card rule object and give it some parameters. Uh, here is where you can set up the rules uh, and uh, the options for the rule. So I will create a new card rule obj equals new card rule and then I'll grab this variable and set date from equals uh, let's say today so date so it's y M D H I S. Then the date two, date two. Uh, well, let's write something actually. I have it here. So it's really far away just for demonstrational purposes. So 2446. Uh, then let's give this cart rule. A name so cart rule obj name and name is an array that's um, that depends on the language so I will use configuration get and I'll get ps lang default equals uh, no, discount code so I'm getting uh, the default language every time here in the array in the loop uh, just to be quick to, um, in writing it, but the best way would be to grab that before the loop and assign it to a, a variable that we can use later or even hard code your language ID if you want. Then I will go ahead and copy the rest and explain it as I go. So car rule object quantity, the total quantity available for this rule. The code is obviously our code and the quantity per user is one. For now, of course, you can customize this, um, these options at your heart's content. Then reduction percent is zero. Reduction amount is twenty of your uh, of our currency. Um, maybe I will change it. Let's say twenty percent. Okay. Free shipping, no active one, and this must be one. And then the minimum amount 
for the cart rule to, to be valid is zero. Of course, in the end, we add it. And we also want some feedback, so echo done with code another line break, guess. Okay, so we're all set. At the very end of the script, after the loop, we can also kill the script. All done. Okay, just in case. So let's test it out. It's named create discount.php. So create discount.php. All right. Uh, it's saying it already uh, th these rules already exist because I created them a while ago in my uh, test. So let me just access the back office and erase them so we can see if they work. So uh, price rules, cart rules, I'll just erase them all. So delete selected. Okay, refresh. Great, and then refresh again already exists. Good. Okay, so we're done. Make sure you remove this script once you're done, otherwise people will be able to trigger it and consume resources depending on how big your uh, array with the code is, with the codes is. Okay, this is everything for today's video and if you're looking for the best hosting for your shop, I recommend checking out a2hosting.com where you can find the best value packages to host your PrestaShop website. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time.